Hi, I'm Emily Laidlaw of Your Tutoring Solutions, and I have exciting news to share. I have created a Google Sheet add-on that does fluency calculations, words correct per minute and percent accuracy. So first let me show you how you get it, and then I'll show you why you want it or what it can do for you. So I'm doing this in an a personal account, my an extra account, so you can see it from scratch how you would do it. If you are in a spreadsheet, going into a spreadsheet, go to extensions, add-ons. Do you see this here? So under extensions, the first one says add-ons, and then it says get add-ons. And you can search by WC words. Oh, look at that! You just type in WC, and it's the first one. It's the only one that comes up. It's such a lovely acronym for words correct per, miss, per minute that no one else uses it so it's right there and here it is you can get this add-on here so that's it words correct per minute fluency calculator and it tells you that it is a free add-on to help compute words correct per minute plus percent accuracy so you hit install okay and it's going to give you you needs permission. Now it says it's going to do all things. The only thing it does is it needs permissions because it, it then gives you a warning that says how to format it and what it's going to do. So because it has a dialogue with you, it needs these permissions. It says it does all the stuff, but that's all it does. Okay. So you hit continue and it says that you can check the terms of service and the privacy policy. It's there. It's linked and you give it permission. So you choose the account. I'm using my personal account. And it sounds kind of scary. It says it's going to allow the, the function to view and manage the spreadsheet and display and run third-party web content. Well, the third-party web content is just a Google Sheet dialog box that comes up and says, make sure that you have it formatted correctly. So because it does that, it gives you this warning that it um, has third party. It's just Google stuff. So that's all it does. And you hit allow. And that's it. And you can find it under the add-ons. So let me get rid of this. And if I now look under extensions, add-ons, in fact, extensions, you see how it's popped up right down here? And it gives you information. So the information says what it does, that it will take in your words read and take in the errors and then the time for the passage and compute words correct per minute and percent accuracy. And it tells you that you have to format the cell, which I'll go over. So it gives you this information. Also, it gives you a help thing. So it gives you information as to how to use the add-on. It is a custom function. That means it's going to be a function exactly like any of the other functions you use, like when you say equals, sum, parentheses, blah, 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 and, and then Google Sheets does it. This is a function that now will live in your Google Sheets that you can use whenever you want, just like any function, and it has the help that's available in the Google Sheet. So let me show you how I use it, and I'm going to use my my business account for this. So I collect uh, fluency data. Now, if I'm doing a probe over my whole class, I would just do a one minute probe. And it's fast, we've one minute, count the words that the person read in one minute, boom. And you identify the kids who need help. Once I've identified the kids that need help, I'd like to do longer than one minute. Because if a kid is reading you know, 25 and 30 words a minute, uh, they haven't read enough in one minute that you can really ask any comprehension questions. And sometimes they're reading and they're trying to get those words out and they've got those words out of their mouth, but they have no idea what they read. Even if their prosody sounds like it's okay or getting better because you've taught them how to, how to change their voice at the end of a sentence and what to do when they get to a question mark so they can sound good, but they're still not listening to themselves. So I like to do these longer fluency checks and then really be able to ask them questions. Okay, who was that about? What did he learn? What did you remember from this? Why did he do that? And ask my questions as, 
after he's done the reading to really probe are they getting comprehension in addition to seeing how we're doing with our fluency rate and accuracy. So let's say I've got my my student who's been doing his reading, and this is passage 301 out of whatever series. It had 294 words. He had four errors, and this was the time. Now, you know that if you're not dividing by one minute, it gets tough to get the words correct per minute. I mean, what is this? 4.4 something uh, uh, minutes? It's like, uh, hmm, let me take out my calculator, right? So this does it for you. So it takes the words that you've read, subtracts the errors, and divides it by the time in minutes. So it figures that 4.4 minutes and 28 seconds is 4 point whatever it is, minutes, and gets you the words correct per minute and then the percent accuracy. So let me show you. If I come in here and I type in equals words correct, there it is. Now it came up right here and it says do you want this one just like when you start to type in su it says oh you want some if i just type in the wc it says do you want this one and it's it's long you don't have to type the whole thing but i just wanted to make sure there's never another function that can get confused with it so words correct per minute and accuracy so yep that's the one i want you just said yep that's it and it gives you the first parentheses and it says the first thing you need to tell it is the words. I'm going to point to this cell here that says that's the words, comma. The next thing you want is the number of errors. I'm going to point to this one, comma. And then it says time. I'm going to point to this, but I'm going to tell you we're going to get an error, and I'll tell you why. I'm going to point to this. Put my close parentheses. Here's the thing. Google Sheets treats duration time duration a very specific way where it has zero zero colon zero zero colon zero blah 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 with all these leading zeros and colons for days hours you know whatever and if you're dealing with minutes it's like do you i really want to type out zero zero colon zero zero colon blah 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 to get a duration i don't want to do that so i've formatted this so that you can type in as a this is a text or a string and you can put 4 colon 28 and that will be recognized to help here but so let me show you that right now it's going to get you an error oh i formatted it already just joking so here the time has to be formatted i i forgot i did this already the time has to be formatted you come up here to format number plain text so that this is a text. So this student read 64.9 words per minute at 98% accuracy. Isn't that lovely? Let me do that again. Equals, just so you can see, equals words correct. Oh, there it is. That's the one I want. It says you can hit tab or you can tap on it. And it gives you the first parentheses. I want this number of words, comma, this number of errors, comma, and this time. Close parentheses, enter, and you see it gives you two outputs. So it gives you the words correct per minute and the percent accuracy. You must have a blank cell to the right of where you put the formula, otherwise it doesn't like it. And, um, and it gives you both pieces of information. Now, of course, I can just copy this through all of these. And there we have it. If I want to put in a new date, I would insert a row. I like to put my new dates at the top. And I can just copy this formula up, or I actually would make a macro that copies the formulas up. But there we go. So right now it says whatever NAN stands for, not able to compute or something. But as soon as there's information in here, it will compute. I'm not doing a whole spreadsheet of of fluency tracking, I can put it in another way. Let me show you. I'm just going to put in a brand new sheet here, nothing else here. And let's say I just want to check it out right now for my student. And I say, okay, what was his fluency? And I'm going to just put in equals words correct or WC. Yep, that's the one I want. Tab to accept it. Now, instead of 
clinging to it, I can say my words were 328, my errors were 5, my time was, and here's where you have to format it as time, with uh, as a text with quotation marks, quotation marks, let's see, he read this in 6 minutes, colon, and 4 seconds, let's say. Quotation marks, the quotation marks tells it this is a text, view this as a text. Otherwise, it views it as like June 4th, you know, as a, as a date. So this tells it it's a text and then close parentheses and let it compute. And there we have, he read 53 words per minute at 98% accuracy. So I don't have to do it by pointing to the cells, but generally I just make my columns, put the numbers in there, let it do its thing and I check it. And then I like to do conditional formatting where I can then say, hey, are we meeting our goal? And then when we start to meet that goal, let's increase the goal again, change the formatting rule. But that's what I do. The real reason I do this is because when I'm working with a student, I want to get a longer reading and I don't want students to say, oh my goodness, we're doing fluency and spit out words super fast but not listen to themselves i want them to have a sustained rate of reading that they're reading and listening to themselves read and thinking and creating the pictures and developing prosody all at the same time and the numbers are for my use to say hey are we improving are we getting to where we need to be and are we seeing improvement over time this helps me okay this is not for the screening measures where you would just want to do the one minute probes when it's really easy. One minute, that, that's it, that's the number of words. You can, of course, do this with one minute. So if you had one minute probes and you just don't want to figure out your percent accuracy, equals words correct, there it is, except that my words were, if I have my open parentheses, yes, my words were 63 words. He had five errors. His time was one point or one zero zero. Oh my goodness! Don't let me forget the quotation marks. Quotation marks one colon zero zero. Quotation marks close parentheses. And he read fifty eight words a minute. That was easy, right? That was just sixty three minus five. And there's my percent accuracy. So if you just need to be able to do that, you will get this as well. But there you have it. Please, uh, if this is helpful, download it, use it, tell other people. If this helps you with your track influency, uh, let me know and tell other people about it. Uh, it's free, so go for it. I hope it's helpful. And if you have any questions, of course, let me know.